Hi, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. Someone recently compared my hairline to that of Jimmy Fallon. And I think that's worth talking about. So I'm 35 years old. Jimmy Fallon is 41 years old. In September, he'll turn, I think, guess 42. So he's maybe six and a half years older than me. So it's interesting because when I think about that with someone as a, that has a similar hairline as I do, but they're older than me, I'm thinking, if I'm lucky, I'll have that much hair when, you know, six and a half, seven years from now. So basically, I have the hairline of a 41 year old talk show host, is what we're understanding. It's funny because my, and, and something I wouldn't know about for sure, that I can't know for sure, but I, I, I feel like, and I've always been a fan, fan of Jimmy Fallon. I've been watching him since the very beginning of Saturday Night Live. But I never really remember him having short hair. So I can't determine determine whether his hair is thinner on top like mine is. And, and the thinness of my hair is not obvious as long as my hair is this long. And so I wonder if he's in a similar situation. That because it's always a little bit longer on top, you know, I guess three and a half inches on top, that keeps it from being obvious that it is thinner right here and in the back. So uh, that's something I wonder about, you know. And we'll all be wondering that as far as our own hairlines, where we're going to be five years from now. Because it's, I guess five years ago, I didn't really realize, I didn't even pay attention to my hairline that, that much as, as much as I do now. The only reason I even pay attention to it is because I make these videos for everybody. And that forces me to focus on certain things that I normally wouldn't pay attention to. Uh, but I also used to keep my hair longer anyway. But, and I also didn't used to keep my sides this short either. So, uh, but yeah, do you agree? I mean, do you think my hairline is similar to Jimmy Fallon? Like I said in that video last week, how it's all relative. There's always someone who's got more hair than you, someone who's got less hair, someone's taller, shorter, better looking, worse looking than you. So it's, it's always a relative uh, thing. And I've never really known who to compare my hairline to. Actually, I can think of one uh, uh, other guy that's actually the same age as me. I think we're only a, a month or two apart. But uh, the actor Joseph Gordon Levitt, leave it, however you say his name, uh, he is the same height as me. He's the same age as me, same color hair as me, and I believe the same hairline. And I first noticed it when I watched the movie Inception. Is when I when I realized that you know uh, a couple years ago when that movie came out, I thought, okay, I think <laughs> the rest of my life I will be in the likeness of Joseph Gordon Levitt or Leave It, however you say his name. It doesn't really matter to me uh, how it's pronounced. the 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 point is um, that I think that as long as uh, for the rest of my life I'll be the same as him as far as hair goes. In other words. If, if he goes bald, I go bald. If he keeps hair, I keep hair. But he definitely has a receding hairline similar to mine. And I mean, I think it's the most identical hairline I've seen to my own. Uh, for Joseph Gordon Levitt or Leave It, it's probably Levitt, but really I don't care. I mean, you can let me know in the comments, but I really don't care how it's pronounced. But uh, those are my thoughts for today. You know, it, it's a matter of you can look at someone who has a hairline similar to you and kind of gauge your future for the rest of your life as you watch that actor in the spotlight and while Jimmy Fallon is a, is a good one because I've thought about that myself that mine is similar to Jimmy Fallon but again the problem is he's six and a half years older than me so that only helps me to a certain degree I can't look into my future and see what is going to be like as far as Jimmy Fallon goes because he's already older than me but with Joseph Gordon Levitt or leave it <laughs> Is that bothering you that I don't know how to pronounce his name? It doesn't bother me. But uh, I'm sure I'm inspiring some, at least one or two or three people to, to tell me in the comments how to pronounce the name. But, but I think whatever his, however you say his name, uh, he's going to be kind of my, like, what, are you, no, I don't, I'm, what would be a good word for it? Like, not my twin, but like my hair double. How about that? My hair double. Who's your hair double? Who's mine? Jimmy Fallon's a good one, but I'm going to go with Joseph Gordon. I'm just going to call him Joseph Gordon. Um, I think he's probably it. So, that's something to think about. So, thank you for, in the comments, talking about Jimmy Fallon. And uh, just kind of letting you see a little bit more of my hairline so you can know 
who to compare it to. But I've got more of a V. You know, I really don't... Somebody mentioned that there's this thing about an island. And I mentioned a peninsula. And someone said, well, you don't really have a peninsula. You have more of a V. And, you know, I guess that's true. I do have more of a V. So it's less obvious for right now. So those are my thoughts on who my hair double actually is. Uh, if you have any more suggestions on your end as far as hair doubles you think that, that I might have, uh, let me know about them. Uh, I'd be happy to explore that. But ultimately what I'm most interested in is someone the same age as me. So I was born in April of 81. So, I mean, I'm, I just turned 35. So if, if they're born in a different year than me, 